the kidneys are the central units of the excretory system the blood carrying the waste materials enters the kidneys where they are filtered out and removed from the body with excess water in the form of urine urine is filled up in the urinary bladder which opens into the genital area when the bladder is full the patient develops an urge to empty the bladder if the bladder is not emptied then it can lead to extreme discomfort of the patient when the patients express the need to empty the bladder you must immediately facilitate for the same you must help the patient to the toilet if the patient can walk if the patient cannot walk then you must arrange for the equipment for the passage of urine by the bed the urine output of a patient in a day is critical to understand the functioning of the kidneys if the kidneys are infected or are not functioning properly then the urine output is low if the waste materials are not removed by production of urine then they can accumulate within the body leading to severe complications equipment used for facilitation of urination for patients who are unable to move out of the bed you must ensure that they are provided with equipment that can collect the urine that is passed some of the common equipment that are used for passing urine are urinal a urinal is much like a bedpan but only for use by males the urinal is shaped in a way that only a male patient may use it while still on bed and remain comfortable for female patients the bed pan is used commonly to facilitate the passage of urine diapers are used for patients who are confined to the bed and are unable to express or control the need of urination these are tube like equipment that is inserted directly into the urinary bladder and used to empty the urine directly from the bladder based on the condition of the patient the doctor would suggest the usage of the appropriate equipment you must check with the nurse or the doctor for the type of equipment that you must use for the patient placing the urinal for use the urinal is used for the male patient and is designed to facilitate the passage of urine by the patient in the confines of the bed the urinal can be used in the following steps explain to the person that you are going to help him use the urinal this can ease any fear or uncertainty he may have raise or level the bed as necessary For example some patients may desire to have the head of the bed raised others may require the knee part of the bed to be lowered or level bring the urinal to the patient inserted in a paper cover screen the patient and give the urinal to placing the cover on the seat of the chair ask the person to put the urinal between the legs for example adjust his pajama trousers or position the urinal properly position the urinal 
and hold it gently while the person urinates. Instruct the patient to signal when finished. On signal, return promptly, bringing a basin of warm water. When the person is done, carefully remove the urinal. Gently wipe between the legs with a damp washcloth. Assist the patient to wash his hands. In case of female patients, the same procedure can be followed with the use of a bedpan instead of a urinal. Some patients are not in a state to express their need to urinate. In such cases, a catheter is inserted directly into the urinary bladder and the urine is collected in a bag attached to the catheter tube. The catheter is a tube that is inserted by the doctor or the nurse and should be regularly monitored to check for infections. Measuring the urine output It is important to measure the urine output of a patient in a day as it indicates the proper functioning of the kidney. You must help the nurse in measuring and reporting the urine output in a day. In order to measure the urine output, you must collect the urine from the urinal or the catheter bag. Collect the urine from the urinal or the catheter bag in a measuring cup and hand it over to the nurse. The nurse records the amount of urine that is collected and makes a note of the same. The nurse also keeps a record of the fluids that is taken by the patient. The fluids taken up by the patient and the urine that is excreted should be balanced. If the urine output is low and fluid intake is normal, then the kidneys are not functioning properly. In some cases where the patient is suffering from heart problems, the kidneys might be unable to produce urine properly. If urine output is low, then it must be reported to the doctor immediately as it can become a medical emergency. Precautions to be taken while assisting in urination. Urine comprises of waste materials that are poisonous to the body. However, once the urine is passed from the body, it should be done in a toilet where it is drained out immediately. Urine should not accumulate anywhere in the surroundings of the bed or the room. It can lead to infections with severe complications. You must take proper hygiene measures to prevent infections arising out of urine that is accumulated. In case of patients who are able to move, help the patients by keeping the toilet ready to use when they express the need to use. Instruct the patient not to latch the door from inside of the toilet as you cannot enter the toilet if the patient needs help. Maintain the privacy and dignity of the patient. Explain the process of urination with the help of the equipment and cover the patient appropriately while they are urinating. In case the patient has passed urine on the bed, gently clean the bed and change the clothes of the patient. Ensure that the patient is not embarrassed. Always wear gloves while assisting the patient in urination or while collecting the urine 
to measure the output. Dispose of any urine that is collected into the toilet and ensure that all the equipment is thoroughly cleaned and sanitized. In many cases, urine accumulation can lead to bad smell. Open the windows and ensure that the air is cleared from time to time.